Welcome everyone to Jonas with Just Commentary. So we're gonna check out a video. I think you guys made a request for this video and told me that this elder lady from Thailand, of course, had a half in a possession over 300 pictures of the queen and the king or the queen. One of them, I'm not quite sure. But of course, we're gonna check out this video. I'd like to thank you very much for requesting. Subscribe to Jonas with Just Commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to the video. Don't forget, of course, leave a comment below and I will try my best to react to it. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's a lot of pictures. Okay, I think it's the queen or the royal family. I'm seeing pictures of the king too, but it's mainly the queen. พระบาทสมเด็จพระปรมินทร์มหาภูมิพลอดุลยเดชโดยเฉพาะพระพระราชกรณียกิจในการเสด็จพระราชดำเนินไปทรงเยี่ยมราษฎรในพื้นที่
is promoted in the home. Same thing for the king of Thailand. His acts, I mean, everything he did, everything he did, he did it for love for his people, love for his country, unity, development. And I must say also, when I found out that the king had one eye, imagine this, imagine this, just having one eye to do all of this. Just imagine for a moment. My next video, try to do, try to watch it with one eye. Just try. And see how frustrating it can be. And yes, the king did so, so many things in his lifetime as king with one eye. That is some serious love. And of course, the great king of Thailand deserves respect. His people don't need to be brainwashing to love him. They already know to love him. They have an immense love and appreciation for him. Respect for the entire royal family. And I'm telling you straight out, I've not even been in Thailand yet. And I know for sure, the people of Thailand, they are showing out the personality of the king. They are doing what the king taught them. They are doing what the king did. Showing love, respecting their environment, respecting the people, respecting the country. Look at how much support was given to Tunba Islam. Even Tunba Islam action of taking part in this entire race from one part of Thailand to the next part of Thailand. I'm quite sure it also had something to do along with the love that the king showed for his people. This is where this is how it's supposed to happen. The leader is supposed to be so great, so loving, so respectful that the people are supposed to follow in his footsteps no matter what. No matter what. It's like you should not be forced into it. It's just something you just know to do because the highest one in authority did it. And you just know automatically, you just have to do it. It's nothing but being brainwashed. And of course, the new generation right now, from henceforth, they will not get the opportunity to see the actual action of the king. But they will know the stories. They will see the videos. They will know the history, just like me. Only so almost basically a year since I found out about the great king of Thailand. It's a year and I know so much already. I know so much already. So the children in Thailand, the babies, those who are growing up, they're not going to be brainwashed. They simply just have to see the videos. And they're going to have love. Love for their king. The current king and the past king, of course. King Amma the Ninth. They will have love for him. Because they will see it for themselves. All the project, the royal Thai project, the royal army, all these things. It's like, it will show off who the great king of Thailand was. And it's like, they don't have to be brainwashed. So I just wanted to address that and tell you, like people outside of Thailand, some, some of them, as I told the person who was having this discussion with, they might just be jealous. Because not every island, every country, every continent, every nation have such a greatly respected leader. I'm telling you, not every... We're watching the news every day and we're hearing about the politicians, we're hearing about the, the president, some of the royal families. We're hearing about it. And you don't see such, such love like that. And the great king of Thailand set standards. His people saw it and I hope indeed that other leaders saw it. That's how you're supposed to have respect. That's how you're supposed to have love for your people. That you don't have to buy people. You don't have to pay people to love you. Because you show it off. Because you show it off, the people automatically love you because that's what people want. Everybody needs love. Everybody wants to feel appreciated. Everybody wants to feel important. And it's amazing every time I see a video where the king is low, where he has himself at a low, low level with the people on the ground, touching the hands of an elder, touching the head of a young person, dressing so simple, equipped with camera on his map. And again, as I said, he did all that with one eye. With one eye. So many leaders would have used that as an excuse as to why they cannot do so many things. Some of them might even use all their riches to see how they can do massive surgeries which will, surgery which will cost, cost millions of dollars to get another eye. With all this wealth that the king had, he didn't use it on himself. He used it for his people in Thailand. And to this date, 2017, all his projects are continuing and to this date, the fruits of his labor is showing forth. So I just want to say that the great king of Thailand is a great king. And the people are not brainwashing to love him. They know what it is to be loved. They know what it is to have a great leader. A great royal leader. So I'd like to thank you guys, of course, for subscribing. To show us with just a commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to the video. Definitely leave a comment below and I'll try my best to react to it. Thank you very much. Bye, guys.